Guys, what's going on? Welcome to Serial at Midnight. My name is Heath. And in this video, we're going to unbox the latest Doctor Who North American release. We have the complete David Tennant collection on Blu-ray. And as I'm recording this video, it's release date and it just was delivered. So I actually have no idea what this looks like. Even the Amazon listing, when I purchased this, it was only the front cover. I've never seen the back cover of this. I've never, I don't even know what the special features are really. There's been so limited information about this release, but of course it's David Tennant. It's the complete David Tennant and it was a, an unbeatable price. So we're going to unbox that here on the channel. And that also gives me the opportunity to use the Doctor Who themed Serial at Midnight opening. I think I've only used it like three times in the entire history of this channel. So we're going to cut to the Doctor Who themed Serial at Midnight opening, and then we will cut right back here for an unboxing of the complete David Tennant collection on Blu-ray. All right, we are back from our adventures in time and space to unbox this set. I have taken the liberty of, of pre-opening this fantastic packaging from Amazon Prime, this over-large envelope uh, for a heavy box set that has 14 Blu-rays. It's really, uh, you know, when, you, when you have Amazon Prime, you get the very best. And in the very best in this case is a too large envelope. I really wish this would have come in a box. Um, Amazon works in mysterious ways. Okay, here we go. Oh, I've seen the back of the box. Now, this is the first time I've seen the back of this set. So it is the complete, it's Doctor Who, the complete David Tennant collection. Let me give myself a thumbnail here. There we go, something like that. Um, and here's the back. So it looks like there's a lot of stuff on here. We do have special features. It says on the front, every episode, every special, over 38 hours plus extras. Now, those extras, according to the back of the box, are Doctor Who Confidentials. Now, I wonder if these are the original, as they originally aired, Doctor Who Confidentials or the cut-down versions. I suspect the cut-down versions. For those of you who don't know, when the Doctor Who Confidential, they're the, the making of. So, every like you'd get an episode of Doctor Who, and then it would be followed by Doctor Who Confidential, where they showed you the behind-the-scenes of that episode. But those Doctor Who Confidentials used copyrighted music, these popular acts, Snow Patrol, I seem to remember being one of the musical uh, beds for one of those episodes. They, they probably have some licensing issues um, that would prevent them from having the entire episodes. So I know for future home video distribution, they did use these cut down versions and they went, I mean, they cut them severely. I feel like they cut them by like half, uh, but that's probably what's here, but I, I will find out. Uh, video diaries, commentary, deleted scenes, outtakes, children in need specials. Those are great because those were wonderful. The, well, they still are. The children in need specials that Doctor Who would do. My favorite children in need special, I think, is with David Tennant where he gets to meet the fifth doctor, uh, Peter Davison, who is his father-in-law in real life. And so uh, this doctor gets to meet Peter Davison's doctor and kind of tell him how it's kind of a peek behind the scenes. It was scripted. It wasn't like off the cuff, but it is essentially... David Tennant telling Peter Davison how much of an influence that doctor was on his doctor going down to the shoes um, and and it's it's loving it's very sweet and it's kind of that peek behind the curtain I actually really really do love David Tennant I think I think the David Tennant um, era is so he's my I believe he's my second favorite doctor you know these things can kind of fluctuate depending on who you're watching and how much of it you're putting in but I do think that David Tennant is my second favorite doctor of all time of course Tom Baker is my first because he was my first doctor your first doctor is almost always your first forever your favorite forever but there was really something special about this era of Doctor Who I you know what I'm gonna tell you something I don't know I feel like the statute of limitations has probably expired on me being able to get in trouble for this, if I ever would have. But when this aired in the UK originally, I'm thinking 2006, um, 
I was I was a dedicated diehard Doctor Who fan already. You know, I went back to the original era, uh, and in the U.S. We were not getting these on TV at the time. BBC America had some, and they eventually got some. And and uh, Sci-Fi, the Sci-Fi Channel, showed some Doctor Who, but it was later. And I believe that David Tennant's series had already aired. Anyway, the only way to see them day and date, to watch them like relatively close to when they were coming out, was to use your special internet antenna, if you know what I'm talking about. In the mid two thousands, like two thousand six, uh, it was the early days of that you know, <laughs> that group sharing technology. And there was a dedicated group of a few thousand of us. It was seriously just a few thousand who were downloading these episodes immediately after they went up uh, in the UK. So the episode would end, they'd be on the internet, you'd download them. And we were watching them the same day that they aired in the UK. And it was really wonderful. And I, there was just a, such a special time for Doctor Who because there were so few of us that knew the show, that really cared about the show. Uh, and it's wonderful that it has grown. It's wonderful that we have so many different future incarnations of it. But there is something very magical about both the Eccleston era and this era. Of course, Eccleston has kind of come out lately and talked about the trouble that he had behind the scenes. And uh, this remains maybe the purest, um, really magical resurgence of Doctor Who. The, the things that they did on this show. I don't love all of it. I think that there are some missteps, but there's a lot of things here that I really uh, value and that mean a lot to me. So it's cool to have all these plus the, the all those special features plus the animated specials, the wedding of Sarah Jane Smith and a brand new interview with David Tennant. So if you guys have been watching the classic Doctor Who Blu-rays, the new interviews that they're doing with these doctors, these, these actors, uh, are incredible. The Tom Baker interview, the Peter Davison interview, they really have perspective on the entire uh, trajectory of that experience because it's been years later and now it's been long enough for David Tennant that he will have perspective that he didn't have five, six, seven years ago uh, because it is definitely in the past now and, and that's going to be really interesting to hear and to find out. Now, one of the things I also want to point out is that you guys in the UK have had these on Blu-ray for a long time, but we have not in the United States. And it's kind of, it's unfortunate, having just told you my history with the show, that it's, here it is, 2019, as I'm holding this, finally I have these episodes on Blu-ray. Uh, and it's just, it's crazy that we had to wait so long. North America has really, I could have imported the box sets a while back, but they, the, the main features, the episodes themselves are, of course, they're HD, so there was no real playback error there, but the, the special features are PAL. And so that might have presented some problems with, uh, with some playback. So I'm glad I waited. This is a really cool box set. Uh, it, it, it looks really sharp. It's going to look fantastic on the shelf next to Eccleston's season. And I have all the Matt Smith seasons too, or series, but I wonder if they're going to do a box set of Matt Smith's and then Capaldi's as well. Because, you know, those those box sets that came out um, are pricey, but I don't know. We will see. So here, let's... I'll take these slip cases off. We have two... two, two I'll take the slip case, not the slip cases. I'll take the slip case off. We have two DVD boxes in here, or Blu-ray boxes. So this is... Uh, Let's see. Okay. I was wondering if I was missing something. It's the Complete David Tennant Series 2 and 3. Uh, so they're basically... Eccleston was Series 1. So I guess it's the Complete David Tennant. But instead of saying it's Series 1, uh, it's Series 2 and 3. And then this is Series 4 plus the specials. So Christopher Eccleston would be our Season our series one. So let's pop this open. By the way, here's the back of the, the package. So we can see the episodes. Um, you know, I'll hold that up so you can read the text if you would like to. You could freeze frame if you want. Doctor Who Confidential Video Diary. So it's telling us everything that's here. All right. Let's see. These are probably very similar to the discs that exist in the UK. So this is going to be disc one. We don't necessarily have to go through every disc, but I do want to make sure that they're right side up so you can see like every single one of these is directly upside down. <laughs> I want, to, want you guys to be able to see the art on the discs themselves. Yeah, just, just looking at the art on this disc, I cannot wait to revisit these stories and these episodes. So we have Rose, Cyberman, Cyberman, 
<laughs> we have a Dalek. Donna Noble, one of the most tragic characters in all of Doctor Who. I think I think we've they've they've worked to to do something about that. We have Martha and Captain Jack. Wonderful. Okay, so then the next set, the next uh, box is series four, and then the specials. All right, let's see. Okay, so we have Kylie, a Santarin. We have River Song, Mickey. By the way, these uh, the two episodes where they debut this character, the uh, Silence of the Library and Forest of the Dead. Forest of the Dead, right? There's no S. Forest of the Dead. Some of my favorite Doctor Who ever. It really captures that mix of creepy with uh, hard science fiction concepts. Kind of feels like the Philip Hinchcliffe era, um, for whatever that's worth. Oh, this this uh, Time Lord has a license to kill. <laughs> and then we have... Uh, I was going to say, it kind of looks like David Tennant is wearing eyeliner here, but I don't think so. Holdover from his appearance in Fright Night, the remake of Fright Night. So this disc is our Doctor Who Confidentials, and then this is the animated episode episodes and... Um, the, the interview in conversation with David Tennant, the, the extras, the other stuff. So that is wonderful. These two sets, I got to tell you guys, it's been a long time coming. I'm so excited to finally have the complete David Tennant era on Blu-ray. Uh, these are going for a very good price too. I have to say, I think I paid $33 for this. And this is like four seasons, right? I mean, Okay, so three series and a special, right? Or the, the specials series, which not a full series, but <laughs> it's extra, right? So season the series two, three, four, and then the specials series before Matt Smith uh, comes on for series five. So uh, a huge value, um, almost too good of a value. I, I, there's actually a part of me that's like, you're undervaluing guys the bbc you're undervaluing the uh the value of these episodes but this is beautiful i'm actually really happy with this and uh, i'm happy with how it looks i just wasn't sure uh it's it's a little loose like this is a little it's not it's not as tight as i wish that it was i kind of wish that this was like a box and these slipped into the side but it's not that big of a deal right that's not a huge issue so uh, this is our unboxing for Doctor Who, the complete David Tennant collection featuring K9. So uh, I think this is great. I'm going to put a link to this set in the comments below or in the, the video description below in case you are interested and have not picked this up and you want to do so. I'll make it easy and I'll put a link right below this. Uh, but guys, thanks for hanging out and talking about some Doctor Who with us. Take care. We appreciate you so very much. And until next time, uh, allons-y.